So um, on this example, ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking us to do is go ahead and solve it. All right. So again, what we can do is um, by looking at this, we can apply our cross multiplication, our product, uh, our cross products. So again, one of the main things I want to see when you guys are doing these, which a lot of see, you know, a lot of people like the cross multiply, and they're like, hey, okay, this makes sense. I can multiply these and multiply these. But remember, when you guys are writing this, do not get so comfortable with this that you forget to follow along with exactly what you're doing. The cross products are equal to each other. Okay? So break sure you bring down that equal sign. Don't, at least in a lot of people that just like get rid of the equal sign when they cross multiply and then they just combine their answers. <clears throat> Make sure you write there, write down your cross products. Okay? When you're multiplying a number by a binomial or another expression, make sure you put it in parentheses so that's going to remind you to apply distributive property. All right? So 15 times 5, 5 times 10 is 50, 5 times 5 is 25, so that will be 75. Here, the reason why I put this in parentheses is so I can make sure I apply distributive property. Three times x is 3x, and then 3 times negative 3 is 9. Then I'll add 9. 84 equals 3x. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. 84. Um, 17. 17. 34. Huh? No. Jeez. Great. Great. Nice. Um, no, at 28. Yeah. No. Twenty-eight. 